When we were building the agency, I was driven so much by emotion in terms of, I want to be just like these guys. Why are they making more money than us? You know, what should we do to get to the next level and whatnot? And then you're driving yourself to make decisions based on sort of uh, emotion, which I read a book called Fooled by Randomness, which was about data. And uh, that book sort of brought me back down to level. We went, hold on, at the end of the day, you're accountable to yourself and to those at home. So instead of looking at things emotionally, start looking at it purely analytically on a data basis. And it just hit home with me. Some people are driven by you know gut and stuff and um, emotion and whatnot. Whereas I was sort of now thinking, well, I, the world is data driven. So if I can look at analytics and I can look at, you know, a very good example was I thought last year emotionally was amazing for us. Yeah. But when I went and did the numbers, um, profit was only up 7%, but workload was up by 38 <laughs> And I was like, that's a bad balance, you know? So it was, a, it was emotionally, it was vanity almost, that it felt so good. But when the data has a real habit of bringing you back to earth. So when you look at sort of, when you use data as your metric for decision making, it doesn't lie to you. You can't be fooled by it. So now whenever we look at projects and fees and timelines, and we look at uh, staff output, um, as well as input and stuff. Once you start breaking it down into a purely, a purely sort of data-driven model, it just makes decisions very easy, and it makes decisions less emotional.